Hi, this is Ron Edwards, Master Sommelier and Director of Wine Education at Winebow Fine Wine and Spirits. Today we're going to taste a wine from Washington State, specifically from the Columbia Valley. This particular wine is made from grapes completely grown in Red Mountain AVA. It is the Matthews Red Mountain Cabernet Sauvignon 2019. It's 97% Cabernet Sauvignon. Let's find out what we have. Rich, dark, black currant, blackberry, black cherry, uh, some black plum notes in the nose. There's a dusty cocoa powder from the oak aging. There's a lift of, li of uh, vanilla and cinnamon also from the oak. The wine smells really inviting and supple, if supple can be smelled. There's also a thread of that beautiful uh, mint signature that Cabernet Sauvignon brings to the table that sort of lifts the fruit profile. Um, there's a, a dustiness to the aroma profile, which makes a lot of sense for where it's grown. It's rocky, dusty, warm climate. Uh, now as I'm coming back to it, a little bit of a, a cedar note is coming through and um, this uh, rich sort of cigar wrapper tobacco note. It's really quite um, friendly and yet there's a lot going on in the wine and I'm excited to taste it so let's find out how the nose and the palate match up. So first of all the texture is this velvety beginning with this wonderful Cabernet Sauvignon powdery tannic grip. It really lives up to the fact that it's 97% Cabernet so it's not overly lush. Cabernet is kind of a lean grape variety in general um, and that texture is what I expected and I'm really happy about it. Flavor profile, pretty much what I got out of the nose except it's taking a step backwards perhaps in ripeness. On the nose, it was ripe moving towards uh, cooked or conserved or, or crushed fruit and on the palate it's m more ripe fruit but not crushed. It is still the black currant and the blackberry, the black cherries there. Black plum, especially the skin of the black plum is very present. And then under that is supported by uh, the, the vanilla and the cinnamon um, and the cocoa powder that's coming from the French oak. And then it has this beautiful, um, very typical Washington State signature of being both ripe and refreshing at the same time. There's a uh, tartar, um, more mouth-watering section that sort of balances out the grip of the tannin and the warmth of the alcohol and it is really um, fairly seamless in the finish. Let's see if the second sip holds up to the first. Very similar on the second flavor profile. Just reinforcing the refreshing nature of the fruit uh, and the balance that this wine offers. This is There's a lot going on in this wine and it's really a Cabernet Sauvignon lover's wine, uh, especially if you're that stylistic love that hinges between, like I like New World wines and I like European wines, because this wine sits firmly in the middle of the spectrum between big, chunky Napa Valley and more elegant, a um, little more satiny style of wine out of Europe. Uh, if you like the wines from Bulgari or uh, that or warmer vintages in Bordeaux. It's not that the wine tastes like Bordeaux, but it has a similar texture. Uh, it really just tastes like really great Washington State wine. Go out and find a bottle of Matthews 2019 Cabernet Sauvignon. The Red Mountain bottling is what I'm talking about today. You're going to love it.